into to the online broadcast network. After Buzz TV, over 20 million weekly downloads in over 150 countries, and your number one source for after show entertainment. <laughs> TV, the destination for TV superfans, producing after shows for over 300 of your favorite TV shows, interviewing celebrities and showrunners, and bringing you behind the scenes exclusives. All thanks to E Entertainment's Maria Menunos, producer Kevin Undergaro, and internet leader Akamai. Now, let the buzz begin! There's our music. It must be Sunday, but we're a little earlier this time. Hi, and welcome to the GH Report here on, on the After Buzz Networks. I'm James Law Jr., one of your hosts, and we're going to talk about all things Port Charles in the last week, and we have a special guest. But first, right next to me is the girl who is Lucius Lyons' long-lost daughter, Lucretia Lyons. <laughs> Hey guys, and you know if you can spell my name right, it's L A C R E T I A L Y O N, and you can find me all over the internet at that. Since there's only one. That's <laughs> true. And the girl at the far left of me is giving me so much '70s hair realness can that I can't it? stand it. <laughs> I can't stand it. I love her, Lady Harvey. Hi guys, you can find me on Twitter at Lady underscore Harvey. And our special guest today, she came in, even though it was Super Bowl Sunday, she came in and came in earlier. And then I made her wait like 15 minutes. <laughs> it's kind of crazy. So we love her just for that alone. And she plays Valerie Spencer. She's a great addition to the show. And we love her so much. Brittany Sarpy. Hey, hey. Welcome, girl. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, So now, one of the things I want to ask is, because um, you are in the credits, so you are a contract player, correct? Mm -hmm. It's true. Someone asked me online, what age are you supposed to play on the show? Because we don't ask the ladies' age in real life, of course. But, like, what age group are you guys? You know, in the breakdown, it never said specifically an age. Okay. So, okay. I mean, I don't know Valerie's birthday yet. Yep. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um, but I think she's, like, kind of mid-20s. Okay. okay. Because when we saw you at Curtis, we were like, I think Curtis, well, I did a poll. A little older, mm. right? Yeah, <laughs> yeah exactly. I like, I, was like, well, I, was like, I was like, well, I don't know how old he is or she. I mean, we don't know how old they are. So I guess we still, you guys had chemistry. The poll was very close between you, Hayden, mm -hmm. and your, your character, Hayden, and Jordan. It was all very close. But I do have to say, some men get salt and pepper hair yeah. really quickly. So maybe that, you know. I did around 30. 30 something, early 30s. Uh -huh. Yeah, I like it. <laughs> hey, that's what I'm talking about. That's right. She has scenes with my man, Donnell Turner, you guys. You guys know how I feel about him. So we're going to talk about that a little later. So, of course, you can follow us on Facebook on our Facebook page, um, GH Report. And of course, on Twitter, use anything hashtagged with GH Report in it. And, you know, and of course, I'm Black Hope LA on Twitter and James Law Jr. everywhere else. So, I mean, You've been on for how long now at this point? Has it been a year yet? It's been a year. Wow, congratulations. Wow. Yeah, thank you. I think we're at the year mark next week. Wow. Yeah, it's been fun. Mark Teshner, who I know, great casting mm -hmm. director, mm -hmm. has brought a lot of people of color on the show. Mm -hmm. Yeah. How does yeah, that, that feel? On soaps, how does that feel? Well, I mean, Mark alone is just amazing. Yeah, yes. It's amazing. I knew I, I, I had a pretty strong feeling I was going to be working with GH for a while just because of our relationship and how many times I was coming in for the show. So it was kind of like gonna happen. <laughs> yeah. I, I kind of felt it. But no, he's amazing. And then just, yeah, I love that we're, we're bringing so many multi-ethnic mm -hmm. actors onto the show and it's a beautiful thing. Have to ask, what's your what's your ethnic background, <laughs> girlfriend? What is it? Tell us. So I am, this is a mouthful, okay. Apache Indian, Cherokee yeah. Indian, Filipino, and Creole. Ooh. And the Creole is um, Spanish, French, and black. Yeah. And that's and you got some good food in all those combinations. Yeah. I'm saying it. I'm a foodie. I love oh, to eat. Ooh, I'm sure. And this is why. <laughs> I believe it. I totally believe it. Um, so it's great. So we're gonna do we're gonna do some storyline stuff, of course, first, and then we're gonna talk some more with her and ask her some questions about some stuff while she's on here. And I'm sure mm -hmm. Lady Dean has questions. You have questions, and also if you have mm -hmm. questions in the chat room, feel free to put them in there because mm -hmm. our phone lines are kind of acting up right now, and so we're just gonna read them from there. Um, we're gonna start off with. Uh, I'm going to start off with Valerie, Curtis, Dylan, and Lulu. <laughs> okay. So how do you feel when they were like, okay, we're going to spin you in this direction for a second? I think it's a good idea. I think a lot of uh, Valerie fans have been ready for me to disassociate with the, <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> with the Lulu Dante yes. saga. So I think it's great. It's a breath of fresh air. He's new. He's interesting. Um, he's charming. Oh, yes. So, and, and I think they're a good look. What do you guys think? 
I told you, I, yes, uh, I see it. What do you think? Okay, no, like, only, yeah, only did I make a You did. No, I didn't. What are you didn't. thinking? What are you thinking um, about? Well, I actually do like the fact that during this week's episode, she did not, you know, fall into Lulu's trap. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like, we're done with this. I'm glad that they made it just that. Now, I'm not sure about the whole quick divorce thing between Dante yeah, and Lulu because yeah. that happened like this. Yes. Did you see right. that look? Just yeah. like that. <laughs> just like that. <laughs> and I was just like, come on. They just had him in the room. Right. You know, I, right. I thought they were going to men things. Yes. But... Didn't. What do you think, Creaser? Well, I really do. I'm one of those people who wants Valerie away from that situation because I think the character <laughs> has so much potential. Yes. It's like, please get her away from Dante and Lulu. Like, give her something else to do. And I think that Curtis is an interesting character, so mm-hmm. we'll see where that goes. There all, is chemistry there. <laughs> thank God Valerie was rescued yeah. from Latte uh-huh. Circle. <laughs> <laughs> see? see? Did you, Brittany, feel trapped, like, within that storyline? No, Like, did not you feel like this is taking too long? Like, I'm ready to be done? <laughs> no, I, honestly, I thought it was a little quick. Oh, okay. Um, really? Okay. Yeah, I, I thought so. Um, I think. Yes. I'll not say a lot. I forgot. Yeah, they, yes, they, yes. they shoot within a day. We yes. see it within a yeah, week. We yeah, we see it. Yeah, right. So, right. Yeah, yeah. so fast. Okay. So, how was it working with Brendan Barash? I mean, that's he's those scenes. Awesome. Mm-hmm. My gosh. He's probably one of my favorite people that I've worked with so far. The, yeah. the Johnny Val scenes are great. And he's. Mm-hmm. He's random as hell. <laughs> that howl. Tell me the about the howl. howl. The howl. Oh, I'll tell okay. you. Okay, I'll tell okay. you. Tell, 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 the tell. truth is, is when he did that, it was during rehearsal, okay. and I completely broke. Like, I, was, <laughs> <laughs> I think my face was like. <laughs> <laughs> The fan That'd response was like, what? Yeah, I love That's when actors do things yeah, like so that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So it was a rehearsal. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah. I mean, but it was literally seconds before it was done. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So it, he's he's crazy. I think he did something different, though. Oh, so okay. he did change it up. It wasn't the hell, whatever it ended okay. up being. It was okay. a little different before because... He had to keep me on yeah. my toes because mm-hmm. that's Brandon. That's what he does, buddy. And you guys actually had chemistry too. I think your characters did. It's a shame it went the other direction, but there was I chemistry know. there. I, w- I wish he was staying on the show a little longer. Well, come, back, yeah. come back, yeah, come back, come back, back for Valerie. <laughs> come back for Valerie. Yeah. But it's, it's the thing that's great about you because your characters come on, and especially with this Dante and Lulu story, which we're talking about, you've stood your ground. Your character has stood yeah. her ground. Yeah. You did. You never played victim. No, mm. I don't think Spencers are victims. No, we're not. You know, and that's Good that's point. a big part of, of taking sure, on really. that name is mm-hmm. she's not a victim. I think everything that she's done this far, she's either accepted that she's made a mistake about or she's done it out of the goodness of her heart. So I don't think that she's had any ill intent towards Lulu being that it's her cousin. And yes, mm-hmm. the whole situation happened how it happened. But I, I, I personally validate everything that Valerie's done. Mm-hmm. So. See, and that's why I love the Valerie character because if you've ever seen the show, you know me. Yes. I hate the victim card, and that's why I was like, no, seriously, Valerie's taking her crap and putting it, you yeah. know, out there. You know, there's a reason Liz could never go by Spencer, even when she was married to Lucky. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. No, she's always been your supporter. She's always like, yeah. no, Valerie always. I mean, she stands her. She she owns she, it. She owns it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You do, yeah, and you call people out on their almost cra- almost cussed always happens on the show. <laughs> crap, um, you call Lulu, but that okay. Yeah, first that's of all, been a trend. It yeah. has. You've been calling people out left and right. You're like, okay, you're like, I'm taking no names. <laughs> now I gotta say, there's one phrase you said that made me laugh, and I had to rewind it three times. <laughs> Tell me, oh, I love this one. It was my quote of the week too. Mm. You stupid ass bitch. <laughs> Yeah. And let me tell you, I said that as writ. I did. Oh, not, I did it. not improvise that. That. Thank you, writers. Well, thank you, writers. Wow. Okay, wow. Okay, wow. okay. I was gonna ask you if that was improvised. Cool. Yeah. It's like it's almost like real talk. Maybe yeah. that's what you would say. I would have said that. <laughs> <laughs> it was like, like but that really? was. Oh my god! It's like that is. I didn't watch it back. I'm like, did you just say that? Did you just yeah, say that? Yeah. But <laughs> like, yes, you did. You were like, you were not taking it anymore. Um, so basically, that whole floating rib thing was kind of funny. It was like musical. Everybody was in there. But you and you and Dylan had kind of chemistry too. Yeah, mm-hmm. I, th- I think we just do. Like, Our characters oh, do, and she I think they're chemistry with everybody. You know? <laughs> yes. I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think I don't know. They they keep playing with our characters, and we date, and then we don't. Mm-hmm. I, I, I think, think it's usually me that calls it out. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but do. I think I don't know. I think we're always going to have a path, and I think they love our friendship, and that it always mm-hmm. teeters on the line of something else. Mm-hmm. So I think that'll probably be 
where it expands from. That like that. Mm-hmm. Like yeah. that male and female friendship. That's kind of nice to have on, on soaps. Well, like Carly so. and Jason. Exactly. Carly and Jason. Yeah. Yes. Exactly. That's, that's like, actually, I like that. That makes sense. But you guys, we had Robert on here too, and he's a great guy. He's amazing. Um, and that video you guys did together, which we showed yeah. on here. <laughs> Hot stuff. Hot. Hot stuff. That it was, was fun. So it was a good time? It was. Mm-hmm. It was. Was it a nice long day, I'm sure? During the, no. no was it? Okay. I didn't have a lot of time that day. Um, I want to say it was wrapped within like two, three hours. It was oh, my wow. part. Oh, yeah. that's, not, that's not bad. Yeah. Not bad at all. My things, my things went away. Um, okay. So basically, I guess, you know, you, uh, Dylan went off with Lulu to comfort her, mm-hmm. so to speak. Um, you, were, you were talking to Curtis. <laughs> and Dante was like, the loser out. Yeah. Basically, because Maxie and Dylan, Maxie and uh, Nathan were like, well, uh, we'll leave. And it seemed and, like he was totally fine with mm-hmm. it. Yeah. I guess. It's so interesting. It's so interesting. It's really interesting. Do they have to teach you how to play pool, or do you really mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Yeah, how is it? <clears throat> I don't play pool. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm a really good physical actress, uh-huh. right? Uh-huh. Right? Yeah, you we are. totally <laughs> believed you knew how to play. Yeah, we really did. <laughs> that's, kind of, that's kind of funny. Okay. They didn't even let me try, though. Like, no. there were times where I wanted to... I could probably break it. Yeah. Uh, no. They were like, no, we need to, we're, we're shooting Cut. it. <laughs> well, it's kind of cool, they, it's kind of cool they decide to really push it as you're a good pole player. Mm-hmm. Oh, I love it. And that's like something, something that adds another dimension to you, because we don't really know much about you besides right. when the you came drama. on. Your, your mm-hmm. mom, Your mom mm-hmm. passing off, passing away, and that's all we kind of know. And yeah. football, which ironically today you're here <laughs> uh, with football. And shout out to Frank Moran, who couldn't be here today. He is on assignment. <laughs> like you said to me that time. Come Universal on Universal Studios. Universal Studios. Yeah. So assignment. He would have loved to have been here, of course. Um, going through this, we have Christina's secret lesbian adventure. Mm. Okay. Parissa Parker is a woman yeah. with a wife. Yeah. And she tried to sleep with her for a grade or something. I mean, that's kind of... I don't know. I think this storyline is going a little bit too far. You think so? Because she looks so much older than... Than, yeah, to me, Lexi looks her. so young, and that's been some of the issues. But I really think she's playing it well. Is you see that in Christina's mind, this was a real thing, and we are not sure if it's not, because you saw the professor was kind of hesitant. Right. So I think the the two actresses are playing it really well. I mean, Ashley oh, and I Lexi. Just think it's too much. <laughs> well, the thing is, she has a baby face. That's the only yeah. that's the only problem. Yes. Just oh. baby face. She's I mean, she's a great. We love that she came back. We're so oh. happy Lexi right. is back. His baby face, and I think that's probably just mm-hmm. probably the problem. So we're kind of going, wait a minute, you're like a child, but she's right. not a child. She's, I know. she's an adult. <laughs> she's, like she's, yeah. a she's an adult. Again, we yeah, probably don't know how old her age. character. Yeah, she's mm-hmm. yeah. playing her age. Yeah, yeah. she's playing her age. Yeah, she's playing her age. So she's, she's just, 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 some people just look young. Right. I remember um, Kirsten Storms looked young for a long time too to me. It's yeah. kind of like, but she's an adult. <laughs> like clearly, she's an adult. So we have that going on. So are we feeling this like this is kind of like yeah, we'll see what goes on, see what happens. Yeah, I'm not. Okay. It has potential. Twist though, I yeah. like that yeah. it was a woman. Yeah, yeah, I didn't see it coming. No, it's not no, coming. I didn't see it coming at all yeah. either. And yeah. I love that. I love that Molly was like reading her diary. Right, <laughs> that was so funny. Who's P? Who's P? That was such like, a good sister moment. Yeah. It was a good sister moment. It was like <laughs> that's kind of funny. Um, then we have her sister Sam crawling around the basement. When she was paralyzed for like he was a, a <laughs> ten? dreaming of Jason saving right. her, and then like that's the longest spark of electricity that's been going on forever. <laughs> and sometimes when it comes back on, <laughs> it's not even sparking. No. And I'm like, right, Sam, get up and walk out. Yeah, of that come, on, come on, girl. This come on, girl. is the worst. I mean, I'm sorry. <laughs> like you got around Sam, her elbow. But I'm like, oh my god. Yes, she's been down be there done. way too long. It's been uh-huh. way too long. It's kind of funny. And then little Jake has surgery. It was a whole like thing, like almost like a recap of what five years ago, six years. How long ago was that? Was that where he got hit by a car by Luke? Mm-hmm. And this time they had to go through it again. And Carly was nice to Liz. What well, was that about? It was appropriate in that moment. Yeah, like it kind of was. So I'm proud of her. Well, to me, I didn't expect Charlie to be, you know, same thing with Monica's. I didn't expect them to be throwing things and like they are, usually are with Liz, but they were way too nice. I mean, there's a level of being civil. <laughs> Look at the moment. But, you know, I mean, <laughs> to play. here's the thing, is they were way too nice to someone, and it's the thing, is hitting Jake with a car again and acting like everyone's forgotten what a terrible person Liz is, is just not enough for me. But Carly did say <laughs> that she had plenty of years to she knock her down it. a yeah. few times. Yeah, that was thing is that least Carly said only this time. The, just today, yeah. that's it. But Monica, I just, that was your freaking son and you thought the other one was dead too and because of Carly and Sonny. Well, this was Veterans mm-hmm. Week. I was angry. Mm-hmm. It was, we, we saw Tracy, Laura, Robert, Anna, Felicia, mm-hmm. Max, I even right. called him as a veteran, and Monica this week. It was great. Mm-hmm. I know. It was like they were all involved in stuff. I mean, 
Tracy and Laura talking. I mean, I love that. Why are we talking? <laughs> yeah, why are we talking? Why are we talking to each other? I mean, how is Jane Elliott? I mean, you haven't really had any scenes amazing. with her, but she's amazing, yeah. isn't she? Yeah, I had most of my scenes with her starting on. So yeah, she right. was in my first week and probably my first few months. Um, yeah. She she probably gave me the most help starting out. Ooh, okay. And that just with um, being afraid and mm-hmm. you know just getting nerves and forgetting your lines, things like that. Mm-hmm. She just kind of was like, just focus on something. She looks at you dead in your eyes oh, too, really? she talks to you. She's like, just focus on something, and they'll come out. It was like, <laughs> wow. And I was really like, tuned in just now. Me too. I was like, that, oh that's God. her energy. Yeah. Oh, she's just wow. very direct and she's amazing. Mm-hmm. Ugh. Wow. She's amazing. And, okay, I have, we have to ask, of course, Anthony Geary. Wow. You had some amazing, you get some in your first weeks on, you had the scene where you were about to kill him yourself. Yeah. I love that. That's I mean, fun. so you talk, I mean, just kind of give us a little brief about him. Well, I mean. the thing about Tony is, and we realized this right off the bat, was when we first started doing scenes together, they were when, remember when he kids, kidnaps me? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. The first time I was kidnapped. Yes, yes. You were kidnapped several times. <laughs> You're so, a true soap heroine. Um, so when he kidnaps me, he Tony kind of just improvises all of his lines. Mm -hmm. And that was a learned experience for me. So I'm like, oh, okay. So it's it's nothing that's written here. That's so (laughs) funny. (laughs) But I I didn't learn that just talking to him. I learned it actually being on my feet and doing it. And for me, I have a theater background. So coming from that, I'm able to improvise. And he, the first thing he said was, you have a theater background. Mm-hmm. Oh. And I was like, yeah. He was like, me too. We're, mm-hmm. we're going to do fine. <laughs> She's and a resident actress. She knows. I am a yeah. theater. Yes. from theater. Yes. So. That's why he finally awesome. they, he picked up on that. I was like, okay, we can work this out. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Your it, scenes are great. I mean, it's it's all about listening. It's essentially what it is. Yeah. It's, you know, you have to be listening and responding. Yeah, mm-hmm. exactly. It's, it's that simple. What <laughs> we do in everyday life, right? And we'll you also, and you also had, to. was it D. Wallace? Yeah. As your mother, yeah. I'm like another movie legend yeah. from like growing up for me seeing all these movies. I mean, how was She's that? She's awesome. So she was not used to doing the soap. Um, oh, okay. Just just the how everything runs the with soap. Yeah, and okay. I think they were trying to get all of her episodes kind of back to back to back. Okay. So she was shooting a lot, maybe within a week or two, and she was just like, I don't know how you guys do all this. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 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 She's like, in a film, this is like two films. It's like, yeah, I know, I'm getting used to it. <laughs> That's so crazy. What are you saying in the chat room? Because like, my chat room's down. Oh, okay. Well, we had some really good questions Perfect. about um, Lulu. So it was Let Your Light Shine uh, 17 asks, because you and Emmy are friends in real life, do you really mm. want that forgiveness to come someday? Oh, <laughs> funny. Eh. I, <laughs> I like that. Yeah, I like that. Em and I play it so well. I think, and I have so much fun with her. Like before and after our takes, we just laugh, and you know, we have a personal relationship outside of mm-hmm. of GH, so it doesn't yeah. matter. So <laughs> I mean, you're acting, and I feel like as as long as we're there's conflict with mm-hmm. us, the more scenes we have together, and she's I, she's one of my favorite acting partners as well. So oh, that's that. good. And they also had another question about the nurses' ball. Obviously, you're not going to be with the haunted starlets due to your um, relationship with Lulu at the moment. But you and Robert Palmer Watkins did that video together. Are you guys going to be doing anything for the nurses' ball? I don't know. Yeah. We might. I think that would kind, of, kind of make sense. Uh-huh. Huh? It does. Yeah, it does. You should. You should both should do something because you're, if you're friends, yeah. you could do it as a friend mm-hmm. duo. You could do that. Yeah, I think um, mm-hmm. Frank wants to incorporate more of my dancing. He's trying to push the singing, but I don't. Seeing in front of people there. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, 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 yeah. But the dancing, you like, you're ready to do? Yeah. Yeah. yeah that's no, another type of expression. That's mm-hmm. right, of dancing. Mm-hmm. Uh, so, uh, so that's so Jake comes out of mm-hmm. surgery. He admits that he, he thinks he killed Sam. Right. And he tells Liz that. So we'll see what happens with that. Morgan can't get it up. <laughs> apparently. At first, you know, I was really slow. Because at mm-hmm. first, I was like, it's not what working. is wrong with him? Yeah. I was like, what is not working? <laughs> He's all, it's Until, not working. Until, like, closer to the end, I was like, oh, <laughs> it's not, not working. working. That was her face. That was um, mm-hmm. uh, Aaron. What's her name? Aaron. Um, Haley Aaron. Haley Aaron. That was her face, too. She played, she played like, yeah. oh. Oh. Okay. <laughs> so, like, I was like, ooh, girl. I, I, I laughed on that one, too. I was like, oh, yeah. I can get up. <laughs> Well, you and I'm really surprised that they went there, but I'm kind of glad that they mm-hmm. did. Just yeah. like with the Christina storyline, they're really pushing boundaries. Mm-hmm. And if you mm-hmm. know anything about like lithium and antidepressants, mm-hmm. which Morgan is on, mm-hmm. then that is a common problem. Mm-hmm. And they couldn't do that with Sonny because we wouldn't have half the canvas. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm guessing they're going to do it with Morgan. Right, right. Yeah. Which, I love that. Mm-hmm. I mean, 
doing these storylines that aren't necessarily popular or that aren't things that we're used to uh-huh. seeing. And so, yeah. sorry, it's amazing. <laughs> yeah. Kendra Jones, do you want to see uh, Liz and Valerie friendship? Valiz. Hashtag mm-hmm. Valiz. Hello. I'd love to. Have you ever, you've never even had any scenes with her, have you? Not we really? have, and yeah. I was really curt with her. This is Ooh. when um, I was looking for Luke. This is right after my mom. Oh, oh yeah. okay, okay. So yeah. we've had a few, and they, they weren't we weren't nice to each other. But <laughs> I could see, considering what's happened to both of us, that happening. Yeah, that's true. Mm-hmm. Come here, the floating rib. Mm-hmm. Right. <laughs> Right, the, the foot. Uh, they're all Dean, you sweet innocent. Yes, you like you like you some. Caroline, yeah. someone wrote in there, "Oh, Lady, you sweet innocent." <laughs> 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 That's right. So I'm assuming that you do go back and watch the episodes. Yeah. I do. As, I do. Okay. Oh, okay. Do. do you look at how you look at your performance? How do you look at that? I critique it. You do. You do. I, you do. I, I mean, I'm a Virgo, so I'm. I'm oh. But I'm a Virgo. <laughs> it, makes uh, it makes sense. It makes sense. Yes. So super critical. So yes. Yeah. We analyze everything. You have to, but it makes me feel good because then I'm like, okay, I can work mm-hmm. on that. But okay, that's true, I guess. Yeah, you can look at it. Yeah, can like you... an athlete watching their tapes. Right. Mm-hmm. Actually, yeah, I watch our shows exactly. afterwards. I watch our shows and look at them. Go, God, James, were you drinking again? <laughs> <laughs> like probably. I do that too, right? Yeah, so, yeah I probably was. Um, and Nina wants a baby. And, and that, that was, was so <laughs> out of the balloon. Yeah, because yeah, she'd been normal, like, and trying to forget <laughs> about <laughs> that. And then it's just like, whoop, baby's on the brain again. At first, she didn't even want to have sex. I know. And now you want a baby. Well, and I love Franco said, who in their right mind would let us adopt a baby? <laughs> it's like, you're the smartest person in the show, yes. Franco. Yeah. We're going we're to have Michelle Stafford on in, yeah. in three weeks. So, ah, on here, she's so awesome. I can't wait. Yeah. I can't wait. But that's kind of funny. So she wants a baby, and, she, and he was like, well, she'll do it myself. Which is kind of a funny thing, like in real life, too. She's kind of, you uh-huh. know, she has her baby. So it's kind of interesting that they're going that direction. But then Nina also wants Olivia, speaking of babies, <laughs> to pose breastful on a cover of Crimson. I thought that was a great idea, considering that it was the talk of mm-hmm. um, GH. Yeah. It was, I think that was awesome for her to put that on the forefront. There's a, there's a video out, if you saw it out on Facebook, about they put they have two women together, one woman with you know, like big cleavage and a woman <laughs> breastfeeding sitting next to each other and people walking by and screaming at the woman breastfeeding. It's like that's oh. disgusting. And, then, and the guy is going, So that's disgusting, but not that her breasts are hanging out in a low cut outfit. Hmm. It's a really interesting video. It's like about three hundred minutes long. It's really wow. interesting. Double standards. Double people. standards, yeah, I know. Crazy. It's like, Ugh, yeah, because I love Nina's like aha moment because we're seeing like a different side to her, mm-hmm. but then it went down a rabbit hole with the babies again. <laughs> but I love Julian being like, I don't want my son. Like, you know, kids are gonna make fun of him. <laughs> so <laughs> Julian. Oh, Julian. Um, and then, like I so said, we saw veterans. We saw uh, Tracy and Laura talking, which I thought was great mm-hmm. at Nicholas's because Nicholas was getting married. Him and Hayden mm-hmm. got married. Yeah. In a cheesy Vegas chapel. <laughs> With the court so gesture weird. and everything. I'm like, okay, sure. To be quite honest, Tell I us. couldn't see it any better than that. Mm-hmm. Okay, okay. Good. I could totally see it happening that way for real. Even yeah. though Nicholas has millions of dollars, I feel like yeah. it was perfect. And I in my mind, cute. yeah, they went to Thunder Down Under after. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's a the Excalibur too, right? Yeah, it is a the Excalibur. That's why I figured they were, they, they were modeling after the Excalibur. That's what I was thinking, right? It's like, it's kind right. of the Excalibur. Right, because his little... We used, to, we used to do, a, I used to, in my former life, we used to do conferences at Excalibur. And I never went. I used to, I used to when I was an insurance agent or whatever, so I used to, like, book the rooms. I never went there before. Someone goes, you should go one day to see what it's like. I'm like, okay. I'm like, oh, it's like medieval. Uh-huh. <laughs> okay, just got it. It was really interesting. The whole eat with a big, big rib or something. It was, like, really weird. I did that. Um, and then, basically, Robert and Anna got freed from jail in Nova Scotia in Halifax. Um, by Felicia. She had lines. I know. I was like, and, what the hell? Christina Wagner actually speaks? You know, they I never know. let her do anything. God, it was so crazy. And so we, they all deduced that Paul's the one who was behind the whole thing. They, they weren't looking for somebody else. That it just, it just right. They were trying to distract them. Cause He's so Sabrina's good. Talking. Who is Richard Bergey? Mm, Bergey? Yes. Oh, I guess so. Yeah, how? I mean, yeah, I'm sure. We want him on the show, too, I'm sure. Oh, my. I think he adds a great spice to the show. Mm-hmm. He does. For We need, we need more leading men of that kind of age Caliber. Group, mm-hmm. That caliber, mm-hmm. too. I mean, he's been, he's been around for a long time. Desperate Housewives and other oh, things yeah. he's been on. I mean, he's yeah. just so... He was on Chuck. On Chuck, mm-hmm. yes. He's so <laughs> yeah. good. He has chemistry a lot of people, too. Mm-hmm. I wonder if Valerie and um, Paul... Mm-hmm. You know, you've already been, you know, father-son. They do that all the time. Oh, my God. Oh, what, yeah. if, what, if, <laughs> what if Paul was her father? Oh, that way. Yeah, yeah. 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 
<laughs> the, the God, why does everyone it. push the incest thing? Oh, I know. They, 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 do, they do do that. But nothing. You need, actually, you need, a, you need a black father for God because you, yeah, you had a do. white mother. So, yeah. ooh, I wonder who that could be. <laughs> Nobody on camera huh. at the moment. That old judge that was dating Monica. No. <laughs> He's black. <laughs> yeah, maybe too. He's really trying to figure it out right now. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's Justice. A soap world. I mean, there's a whole side of the quarter mains. So. Oh, that's mm-hmm. the quarter mains. Look at the black quarter mains of the wards. Mm-hmm. That's right. You can yeah, be a ward. everyone seems mm-hmm. to think it like I'm a ward as well. Oh. Mm-hmm. The fans. Yeah, the fans. Yeah. Well, yeah. she does resemble Annie Alonzo, who was the last Maya. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. And she moved on to do Arrow for a season. Did she also do yeah. the re- re- revamp Charlie's uh, Angels? Charlie's Angels. That's that why didn't she. Last. Oh, okay. Yeah. I know what you're yeah. Talking. yeah. She's really, but she's as beautiful as you are. Mm-hmm. I love it. Um, and then Ava fakes sick, which she did a great job. Such a good job. A great actor. Yeah. I mean, I love Mara West anyway, and she's tweeted me back a couple times. <laughs> <laughs> um, she's so, so mad, but she's such a great actress. Oh, she's Here's an Ava fun. supporter oh, over yeah. here. Oh, yeah. I love Ava because she is shamelessly evil. <laughs> we don't ever hear, oh, Ava's just misunderstood like we do with Sonny. I, felt no, like I knew you would take a shot to yeah. Sonny. I'm going to cut it out right now. Hashtag Lady That's it. No yes. more. <laughs> Thanks. That's right. Yes. But yeah, I mean, I had to give it to Ava. She was like trying to protect Avery, and she even wants out of the mob. So it's not as important to her as her kid. Unlike someone, the he who shall not be named. <laughs> did she really? <laughs> she, did, she, did, she, did, she didn't name him. She, she did literally did this serious head <laughs> <laughs> she didn't mention her name though. Was like, yeah. name. Um, yeah. Well, also, what's kind of funny is that uh, she said no to sex to Paul. Mm-hmm. She said, no, that's okay. And if it I change my mind, last long. Yeah. yeah, I ain't gonna last long. <laughs> you and, can't resist him, he's no. not. Mm-hmm. And Kiki gave Avery to Sunny with no shame. Yeah. With no shame. She was like, yeah, I did it. She was like, you're calling me a liar? She's like, wait a minute. I was like, ooh. Yeah, because yeah. she's walking around, coughing uh, up the place. Uh, yes. Because like, hey, what do you do with my baby? Like, wait, why aren't you, weren't you sick? I'm like, right. Because I mean, she took a little nap. Girl, sit down. Because she brought her, like, I mean, because Kiki brought her a whole arsenal of stuff, like crackers and soup and, yeah. like, 10 drugs. I was like, go, there you go, girl. But you hate your mother. It's kind of crazy. Um, and then the new Dr. Groove Monroe debuted. So he, he had his, a little moment with Sonny about them knowing who they each other was. Uh-huh. A great scene mm-hmm. right. for you, Miss Lady Dean Corinthos. Yes. It was a great scene <laughs> together. And now we find out he's actually the doctor Lucas was they were talking about. So he's so we'll see more of him. I can see him with you too. That's another, mm-hmm. another. He's hot. Yeah, he's he is cute. hot. Yeah. He's actually a friend of Mark J. Freeman, who's my co-host on Dish and Days. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. They're friends. So they were talking about that. And then of course we had a Scott Franco scene. Scott was in like three scenes that day. I was uh-huh. super excited because we all know how much I love my Scott. She was bouncing around. He was like, I was like okay. He was, <laughs> mm-hmm. he was like, well, he was working it out. So he was, that was a nice little scene with them too. Because he's so funny and they he works so well with Roger. Yeah. I wish they'd hire another comedian to play. Yes. Their kin, if you know what I mean. Ken Schreiner. <laughs> more kin, more kin. And then, of course, hello, Rachel. I mean, I'm Hayden. No, you're Rachel. Mm. I'm Hayden. You forget who I am. Guess who I found? It's going to be yeah. interesting to see who that guy is. Right. I want to yeah. know this story. Mm-hmm. I don't know. I think she may be going back on, you know, pulling one over Nicholas. Do we think she loves Nicholas deep down? I do think so. How can you really love mm-hmm. a man who had you shot in the head? I really I mean, think so. <laughs> hey, well, Carly and Sonny. Love yeah, that's true. some crazy things. Yes, it can. So, I mean, I... <laughs> I'm like, I don't know if I would fall for it, but I mean, yeah. you know, who knows? I don't know. I mean, it was it was crazy. Yes, we saw Scott and Laura together for a minute, so that was kind of, that was kind of nice to see them. The hell talk. was Will reading? Yeah. Yes, it's gonna be a Will reading. Ooh, what's gonna happen there? Right, because they tried to do it a little bit dramatic, saying yes. it's from Helena, mm-hmm. and then yeah. I, I think for a second I was like, she's not dead. Like, mm-hmm. did anybody else have I know, that I moment? Too, I she's too. never Because they kind of did I like a little she's dramatic not, yeah. She's not dead. She's the cousin of She's <laughs> yeah. not dead. Wait, wait. Where is uh, Valerie living? She's still at Carly's. Mm-hmm. Oh, you're all at Carly's. Mm-hmm. I think everybody's at Carly's, aren't they? I think Lucas, they're all at Carly's. Yeah. They haven't shown the house in a long time. <laughs> Carly's not at Carly's, though. No, she, she sure is. She's at <laughs> How is it with Laura Wright? She's awesome. Yeah, she is right. awesome. We had really a really fun time at our fan event in Boston. That was like the first time I really got to hang out with her. She's oh, well. cool. Oh, well, I yeah. love her. We love her. So that's, that's basically the week that was. We're going to talk to Brittany now because we have right. a few minutes. We're going to talk to her. But that was the week that was in Port Charles. 
So it kind of was, it was a lot of little bit of everything. <laughs> yeah, lots of little, yeah, lots of little everything. So how did so what other roles did you try out for on General Hospital? I love talking to other actors mm-hmm. about this, about the roles they tried out for. Um, let's see. So the most recent was I screen tested for Jordan. Hmm. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. Went to the wonderful Vanessa. We love her. Mm-hmm. Yeah. She's amazing. Um, I think when TJ came about, though, me having a son that age didn't make it. Oh, sense. no. Yeah. Mm. No. At all. <clears throat> um, and then there was one before that, and I can't remember who she was younger this she would have been 16 to 18 multi i think it might be who you were talking about maya war yeah maybe it was Maya Ward. oh okay oh wow okay they're looking for her mm. again they've been they've been talking about bringing some wards on for years they just haven't right. i think they had brought her on at that point that was oh well back okay was she on about three four years ago yes because yes. okay. actually that was yeah. anthony montgomery's first appearance too yes yeah. he was on the first time mm-hmm. yes okay yeah that's kind of right. And, uh, you know, so, you know, Mark, because I know Mark remembers people when he mm-hmm. likes them. Yeah. I've interviewed him. He mm-hmm. tells he's like, I, I see somebody, I hold on to them. Um, yeah, for uh, Valerie, he, he said I was the first person he thought of for this role. Wow. So, mm-hmm. so, yeah, that, that's, that's good, amazing. Yeah. So, I mean, had you known what the Hooters Spencers were in the soap world? Did you have any idea about that? Like Luke and Laura and all that stuff? I knew Luke and Laura. My mom and my grandmother and my great grandmother used to watch soaps yes. all Same here. the time. So mm-hmm. I, you, the little things that I, I knew, and I knew Luke and Laura. So, but when I actually got the part, I got the whole history of the Spencer family, okay. which is really cool. I'm sure. The yeah. one question you brought up, Jordan, I loved, and I don't know if the girls felt the same way. I love the relationship between you and Jordan. Me too. Mm-hmm. It's a good sisterly mm-hmm. kind of bond. Bond. It exactly. is. It's sisterly because there's mm-hmm. parts where it's almost like there's a friendship, but then mm-hmm. she's definitely playing like the older sister. Mm-hmm. than anything so I like that it's this kind of like she's like almost like a parent to me but not like quite a, there not like a Bobby but right. she's more like an older sister it's cool it's mm-hmm. a good dynamic it is I love that anything anybody what's me like that? um the yes. process of like you know the whole learning lines like how long does that take before you're ready to like so one of the first things they told me um, getting on the show is it's a muscle you'll learn it like it, it, it it's, a, it's a muscle memory like literally after a while you get faster and faster and that's happened mm. so for me the process is reading it a bunch of times and then it literally just sticks it sticks and you get so wow. accustomed to reading wow. the scripts quickly 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 and that it takes it goes from like me having to read it maybe nine or ten times to four or five times and now maybe like three times wow oh. That's good because right. it is a muscle, I'm sure. Right. Yeah, it is. And then I guess once you start doing it, because I always, I always admire the ones who are doing it for years. I'm sure they just kind of just, just it's now there. they just read. It oh once. yeah, they just show, <laughs> a lot of people just show up the day of and they're able to look at their scripts and really process everything. Wow. I'm not there yet. <laughs> <laughs> like, don't go. I'm getting there. We're not there yet. I yes. love to study. Get in yes. Virgo. <laughs> <laughs> I do Be still prepared. spend days yeah. on my yeah. Preparation yeah. is key. Yeah. Wow. I mean, what, what is your take on um, this whole kind of, there aren't enough minorities on soaps, mm-hmm. they're, they're starting to happen. Bold and Beautiful has mm-hmm. a family on there and in here. What, what is your take on that? I mean, I think I think that it does start with soaps. And I'd be so bold as to say that it, it, it's definitely something that's integrated because soaps is kind of where you get a lot of, a lot of people from the Midwest watch, a lot of people from the South, so it's not just your LA, it's not just New York, it's not just kind of the main popular areas, it's where you're getting, you're, you're getting it entrenched with people, right. like your everyday people of America. Mm-hmm. So I think it's so important to start there, because that's the foundation of normalizing seeing different faces on, on camera, mm-hmm. seeing different types of relationships. It's, I, I, I think it's bigger than putting it in these big mainstream movies and things like that. It's, it's better to make it normalized from the, kind of like the ground up. Mm, that like makes that. sense. Well, and I think they finally caught on to the reason that Y&R has been the number one soap for years, because it's always featured prominent yeah, diversity. Mm-hmm. And because the um, Winters family has been there since oh, yeah. I started watching, yeah. and yes. they've always been a big part of it. And I <clears throat> never understood why they weren't on other soaps. That's yeah, right, that's right. yeah. Like it was, it was huge being a Spencer and mm-hmm. yeah. ethnic. That's yes. right. a big deal. I was shocked when I saw. I saw oh, I, I first said <laughs> yeah. a black like Spencer. Spencer. Right. I went yeah. there first. I was like, that's very cool though. Like, why not? It I mean, is. Why not? Yeah. And you have the qualities of a Spencer. Like mm-hmm. it's beyond the color stuff. Right. Like exactly. you have the part of Spencer. Um, how has it been though for you in terms of auditioning and stuff? The process because you look the way you do. You could you could be. They could say you'll cast you Puerto Rican. We'll cast mm-hmm. you. I'm sure you get that right. I mean, you'd think it'd be easy, but it's not. <laughs> really. No, it's, it's a little harder when you're not definitely something. Mm. You know, when you're not because of how 
the world works right now. Yes. Um, <laughs> you have to be very careful where they place you. Mm-hmm. Yeah, well, it's just when they are casting for, you know, a black female that is going to be the supporting actress to this mm-hmm. lead that is Caucasian, they want to see a black female that's going to identify with a lot of other black females. So they, mm-hmm. like, whereas I don't necessarily always Got fit it. that. Mm-hmm. Or Got if it. it's Latin, you, you might they might want an accent or... You know, there's just certain uh, things where when you don't really fit one, like a, one lane, especially when you're going for things that are very specific, mm-hmm. it's very hard to do fine work. Yeah, I'm not sure. Really, yeah. I'm surprised by that because I think you look like a young Rosario Dawson, who, as you know, is um, actually a mix of Puerto Rican and Black, I believe, and mm-hmm. she's played uh, both of those, you know, seamlessly. And but I will agree that I haven't seen her in a long time. Like, there but was, you also yeah. you you just don't see yeah. her um, in yeah. supporting roles. So to start yeah, off true. as an actress, yeah. it's very hard until you get to do leading roles where it doesn't matter what the mm. race is, where you're Jessica Alba or Rosario, mm. where. Again, it doesn't matter. Or J Lo. Yeah. Right. Sounds surprising. Right. Because J Lo, you see, I give give J Lo points because, I mean, she is a Latina, but Mm -hmm. she's played, like you said, lead Mm -hmm. roles where it just didn't matter who her co stars were in some ways. Right. And after a while, it'd be great. Yeah. Yeah. No, yeah. yeah. I'm sure. Oh, my God. Um, Dominic Sopragna, how's it working with him? <laughs> Dom's the best. He's cool. Um, he That's who I screen test it with. Oh, wow, okay. So I think that the bond's always been there, and now he just is, he like, he's a little butt hurt because of <laughs> not scared anymore. So he kind of like puffs out his chest. And he's like, I guess you get to work with Brittany now. <laughs> oh, that's so cute. Oh, I love that. Wait, wait, no, no, this thing, you work these hours, you work this pace. You and if you have a, a like a main scene party, you guys do get pretty close, right? I mean, it's yeah. kind of like it's almost like probably brother and sisterly, probably. Yeah. And probably. you go off to somebody else, and you go, <laughs> "Where are you going?" I mean, but the storyline says now Brittany goes over here to Donnell Turner, <laughs> um, or you know, or I was just saying ten times, or you know, or to Robert Palmer Watkins. Like they they move you yeah. someone else. It must be kind of hard when you're like, "Well, I was the original guy. <laughs> yeah. I, I had her first. No, um, he's Ray J. <laughs> right, 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 exactly. I had her first. It was mine. It was mine first. I mean, when you first read that part of the script, we got on there and they said you're going to sleep with your cousin's cousin's husband. I mean, it's so soapy. But how did you feel about that at first? I mean, <clears throat> I knew it was definitely going to be a lot to talk yeah. about. Give that Virgo answer. <laughs> <laughs> However, yes. I think here's where I found my validation. Okay. Hmm. So she okay. doesn't like know it. this family yeah. at all. So well, and, and when she came out there, who helped Valerie? Dante. Mm. Thank you. That's true. It was Dante. Where, who were her other friends? None. Yeah, exactly. Lulu didn't even talk to her. No, and, yeah, sure Dante didn't. Dante was there. Yeah. So, and Bobby. I mean, if anyone was yeah. going to kind of bring them apart, because we are the same age, it should have been Lulu. So mm. I put the fault on Lulu because she didn't <laughs> nurture that relationship. And Dante did. Yeah. And yeah, yeah, I think Val is a little, she's a little naive in some ways. And that was probably the first time that she's had that kind of a connection past her mother. So oh, okay. for her, okay. you know, losing her mother, not having anyone to really connect with and, you know, find that, that bond, it was it was a lot deeper for her. So I don't think, again, there was any ill will towards Lulu. There was never, I, I'm doing this because... Right. You know, it had nothing to do with Luke right. or anything mm-hmm. like that. It was, it, she fell in love with the person who was there for her. That makes sense. Mm. Okay, no, I can see that. That's why it makes sense. Because, I mean, I made a comment, I was telling you before mm. the show, that mm-hmm. I had said... You know, I'm gonna have we're gonna have Britney sorry be honest, she's a controversial character and so I'm like, No, she's not I'm like, Apparently she is because I mean <laughs> what has fan reaction no. been to you? I mean, what has it been? Well, I mean I don't read the blog, so <laughs> yeah, I'm sure. I'm that sure. probably Smart. takes out a huge portion of the yes. negative. Smart. Um for the most part it's it's been really positive. Okay. Um there are a few negative things and I'm not good at biting my tongue. So if okay. there are yes. you probably okay. have seen me respond to it yeah. by now. But, but I love it. Yeah, it's accountability. I think we should all <laughs> Really? Well, you know, we know yeah. folks online. Cause we're all, we get stuff too, trust oh, yeah. us. I don't we get, the tongue yeah, yeah, we get stuff online too sometimes. Someone even told me I shouldn't even be on the show. <laughs> Another producer, I brought it. Um, it's like you, I just say they're behind a the screen somewhere yeah. and they can say whatever they want, right? That's, right. The, that's the whole thing, of course. I mean, so. You're at home watching me, and that's all that matters. Right, right exactly. <laughs> right, that's right. Um, I mean, so what would, you like to, what would you like to say to fans as we start to wrap up? What would you like to say to fans out there? Thank you. Thanks for watching. Watching and you know taking a chance on Valerie and and Brittany, um, 
I think there's a lot of fun stuff in store. So Ooh. stop asking me every three weeks if I'm <laughs> no. off the show. No. <laughs> I didn't ask you that. Oh, that's every so time, funny. Every time something happens, they're like, "Are you leaving? <laughs> <laughs> Is Valerie <laughs> leaving?" And I'm like, hmm. "Oh, that's so." Remember, funny. I thought so that at one point in time that you she just, was you did say that you know. leaving because they kept bringing up like getting rid of you. <laughs> yeah. Well, that that was. Fair. The yeah. you know, that that part was fair. But other times, no. Just. But like recently, just with this whole fire thing <laughs> yeah. and me breaking up with Dante, I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> She's there, girl. She's not going nowhere. Wait, famous last words. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Frank's like, uh, <laughs> <laughs> actually, Brittany. Yeah. <laughs> well, Brittany, thanks for coming on our show today. Thanks for having me. It is a pleasure. You have to come back. I will. You have to come back. You have to come back. Definitely. Definitely. Um, so, actually, Brittany, tell the folks where they can actually find me. You can find me. It's very easy. Um, Twitter underscore Brittany. My name is spelled B R Y is in yellow, T N I is in island. Mm-hmm. Um, you can find me on Instagram at Brittany B R Y T N I. Snapchat is it's Brittany bitch. Um, is it really? You got it. Oh, 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 oh. oh I definitely that just made follow my her. day. No. I got follow you. Definitely, just made you're not following me yet. Yeah. Hey, you know, I got to do it after the show. <laughs> that just made my day. Okay, yes. And then Facebook, I think you can just search Brittany. Yeah, that's right. yeah. And my last name is Sarpy. I do have a last name. <laughs> <laughs> I just, like, you don't need one. Use my one. first name a lot more. You don't need but you're one. like Madonna. Mm-hmm. You're Cher or something. Yeah. You don't need one. You don't need one. You don't need one. I just made my day. Lady, tell them where they can find you, girl. Hi, guys. You can find me on Twitter at Ladine underscore Harvey and on Snapchat at Hair underscore Niche. Follow her. She has good stories. Mm. You. Well, I'm not really good with the stories because I'm still not <laughs> still sure learning. how to use Snapchat, but you can find me on there just like you can find me Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, whatever, at L-A-C-R-E-T-I-A-L-Y-O-N. I should drop my last name, too. It's <laughs> Lucretia. It's Lucretia, bitch. It's Lucretia. Yeah. Yeah. I think we're all going to change our Snapchat names. Yeah, yeah. I bet. I, I, yeah, you lucky you got that. Lucky you got that. I'm James Lott Jr. Of course, you can follow me at Black Hope LA. That's B-L-A-K Hope LA on Twitter. And James Lott Jr. everywhere else. And, of course, you can follow our Facebook page, which is, of course, the GH Report. And thanks for watching us this week, mm-hmm. and we'll see you next time. From executive producers Maria Menounos, Kevin Undergaro, Phil Svitek, and the entire AfterBuzz TV staff, we would like to thank you for listening to the AfterBuzz TV network. To watch or listen to other After shows and post comments or questions, be sure to visit AfterBuzzTV.com. I'm Sir Richard Wentworth, and this has been a presentation of AfterBuzz TV. Buzz you later. The views expressed herein are those of the hosts only and do not necessarily reflect the views of AfterBuzz TV or its owners or principals. 